Hey guys, let's take a look at some factor stuff. This is actually really fun today. I like doing this. Common factors and greatest common factor. Just make sure you know what common factors are. I mean, let's let's do a couple of examples, really, really simple ones. Let's say, I don't know, 12. What are some factors of 12? We got 12 and one, we got four and three, we got two and six and so on, okay? Let's say we have something like, um, I don't know, 20. Uh, Factors are, of course, 20 and 1, and then 4 and 5, and then we could say 10 and 2, things like that. So you could look at this and go, what common factors do they have? Well, they have 2s together, um, and that's pretty, oh, they have 4s together, and, you know, 1, we don't really count that. But the greatest common factor we would say in this would be 4. That's the biggest factor that goes into both of those numbers. That's what greatest common factor is. That's called GCF sometimes because of the initials, okay? You tell me, find all the common factors and the greatest common factor in these, of these pairs of numbers. So let's go here. All the common, all, let's have all the factors of 24. We got two, 12, two times 12. Let's say six times four. Oh, how about eight and three? And I'm not gonna list 24 and one because that's kind of, a, we understand that. Okay, 30, we have 30 times one, forget that. We got five and six. We got, uh, you know, 10 and 3, and uh, we got 15 and 2 as well, okay? Well, look at this. Which one is the greatest common factor? Okay. Looks like it's 6, right? 6 is the greatest one that goes in. I'm not, I'm not talking about just the greatest factor, like 15. I'm not talking about the one that goes into both of those. 6 is the biggest. Well, 24 and 7, what's the greatest common factor that goes into both of those? Kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, there isn't anything, right? I mean, seven doesn't, I mean, they, they don't share anything. Seven just has seven and one. 24 has all, just a ton of them, but not seven. So really there's nothing there except for one. Doesn't really count. 24 and six, what are some common factors of 24 and six? Well, you can look at that and go, wait a minute. Six times one is six, and then six times four is six, and that's about all you can do. So your answer is six, which means six is the biggest number that divides evenly into 24 and six. That's why they call it greatest. Some, if some number divides evenly into another number, that's a factor. So greatest common factor, there you go. Okay, there is a neat factor tree <coughs> method where you never have to wonder, gee, I wonder if I'm right about this. Nope, you can always do it. Find the GCF of 12 and 18. In other words, what's the biggest number that goes into 12 and 18? You can probably already get, know what it is, right? It's six, right? We know that, okay? Can't be nine, because nine doesn't go into 12 evenly. But let's, we're, we're gonna do this, watch this. I'm gonna do 12 over here, then 18 over here, and I'm gonna go 12 breaks down into four and three. Oop, that's prime. And then four breaks down into two and two. All right, well 18 breaks into, you could either do nine and two or six and three, doesn't matter, let's do six and three. Six and three, <coughs> excuse me. And then that's gonna be two and three. Right? Okay, now your job basically is to find which numbers match both of those. Now if you notice, in both of these, let's go for this. Hey, they both have a two, right? So let's pull that out and put a two. They also both have a three. <coughs> so let's pull that out and multiply. Now look at this, that's a two here, but that's a three there. They don't have anything else common. So you stop, that's all you can do. So two times three, six, <coughs> excuse me. And that's it. That's your greatest common factor. Now that, that'll work with two numbers compared to each other. It'll work with three numbers. It'll work with small numbers. It'll work with giant numbers, everything. So that's the method. Break it down, look and see. If you have one that are common, go ahead and cross them off and like, you know, put them down here and then multiply them together. And that's your GCF, there you go. So let's try 72 and 90, all right? Pause it. Break down 72 on one side, break down 90 on the other side into prime factors, then circle the ones that are common and multiply just those together, pull them apart and go to the bottom and multiply those all together, see what you get. Okay, I'm assuming you paused it. Okay, 72 and 90. What is the biggest number that goes into both of these? 72, you should know that's eight times nine or six times 12 or something like that, all right? Nine is three times three, those are prime, I'm circling them. Eight is gonna be two times four, and then that's gonna be two times two. So over here, I have two, 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 three, three, that's 72. 90, of course, 
9 times 10, and 10 is 2 and 5, 9 is 3 and 3. Now you tell me, what do they have in common? Okay, well it looks like, let's go for the smaller one. There's a 2, uh, and there's a 2. Okay, so pull it out, 2. There's, oh, there's a 3, and there's a 3. So there's a 3 there, and there's another 3, and another 3 there. And we have a 2 and a 2, and then a 5, so and that's it. That's all they have in common. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 is 18. 18 is the biggest number that divides evenly into 72 and 90. Goes into 72 four times, goes into 90 five times. Okay? All right, let's try another. Oh, more profanity here. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. I gotta have some editor check these things. This is just terrible to expose you guys to this kind of language. All right, so let's try one of these uh, multiplication word puzzles. Harriet's score in the second game was a product of her first game's score and, tw one, and 25. If Harriet had scored 14,025 points in the first game, how many points did she score in the second game? Well, the score in the second game was a product, which means multiplication, multiplying her first game score, which is this, and 25. So to find this answer, you're gonna to have to actually go 14,025 times 25, like that. I won't bother to do that, it's just a, that's how you set it up, okay? All right, let's see, look at this one. Roger scored 26,142 points in the first game. He scored seven times this many points in the second game. How many points did he score in all? What is the name of Roger's pet hamster? Now, part of this word puzzle has some extra information you don't need. I'm not going to give it away, but I'm sure you probably figured it out. Okay, anyway, all right. So how many points did he score in all? That means in the first game, he scored this. In the second game, he scored this. And you're going to add those together and get a total. How many score? Okay. So the first game, he scored this many points. The second game, he scored seven times this many points. So obviously, you're going to go 26, 142 times seven and find out the answer, blah, 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 and put it right here. And then you're going to add those two, to get two together, and that's going to give you your total. I won't bother to do that. So that's how many points he scored in all. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at page 49. Go ahead and pause it in your... Uh, on your video there and we have three problems go ahead and do you know what do the first two and then come back and we'll do them together okay pause it okay here's the first problem they say what is the common factors of 12 and 30 well we can list 12 and then 30 so 12 we have 12 and 1 you know 4 and 3 6 and 2 <clears throat> 30 we have 6 and 5 15 and 2 10 and 3, 30 and 1, and uh, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so the common factors are, looks like 2, and it also looks like, let's see, 6. And that looks like it's about it, huh? Nope, 3. 3 is also in there. And 1! Yeah. We all know they have 1. Okay, all right, look at the second one. Find the GCF of 18 and 60. In other words, what's the biggest number that divides evenly into 18 and 60? I think we can both, we can all figure this out, but let's just do it. 18 is 9 times 2. 2 is a prime number. 9 is 3 times 3. 60, of course, we could say 10 times 6. 6 is 2 times 3. Those are both primes. I'll circle them. And 10 is 2 times 5. Now you tell me, what is common among both of these numbers? Well, you can look at this and go, okay, there's a 2 there and a 2 there. I'm going to pull it out and go, okay. There is a 3 there and a 3 there. Okay, so, so that's pretty good. Now, there's a 3 there and a 3 here. That's not right. Hold on a second. Oh, that's a 5. No wonder. <laughs> okay, I can't read my own writing. So anyway, I shouldn't have chosen that 5, but I should have chosen this 3. So anyway, that's what happens when you get old. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6, so that is it. That's your GCF of 18 and 60. So that's the biggest number that will go into both of those. Okay, 
All right, let's look at C here and before I collapse of exhaustion and old age. All right, inflation caused the price of everything to increase. The price of an item after inflation was four times the price before inflation. If an item cost 567 before inflation, what did it cost after inflation? So all you need to do is multiply this by four. <clears throat> Seven times four is 28. Four times six is 24 plus two is 26. And then that'll be $22.68. Just like gas prices recently. Okay, all righty. There it is. Hope that works well for you guys. Make sure you know that trick of finding the GCF. Very handy, very helpful. So, okay. See y'all next time. Take care.